Hey guys, welcome to Tommy Legends. Doing something completely different today. Um, as a kid, obviously one of the major upgrades you could do was Tamiya in back in the 80s was the beautiful, iconic um, Tamiya Technical Motor. So we've got a lovely one here, which is a runner. Um, so what I want to do is I want to do a motor comparison, slightly different. So the car of choice, I'm using a, 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 a Tamiya Super Hornet, which is halfway through restoration, but it's perfect for this because it's got oil shocks and it handles so much better than a standard grasshopper. Um, so what I've done is I've changed the rear wheel hub so it fits the grasshopper wheels um, and so the car will probably stick to the tarmac. So the idea of this is, this has got the 380 in, see what it runs like like that, then go, go do the upgrade of the 540, see, what, see the comparison, and then go for the Technigold. Now obviously this is a tunable motor, so I've set the timing to its lowest for its first run. We'll do a run and then I'll, I'll, I'll move the timing to the middle we'll do a run and then I'll move the timing right up to its maximum and see the difference. And then after that, I've brought with me a Tamiya GT tuned motor, a modern one, and I want to put that in as well. Um, so just before we start, I'll just give you all the specs of the motors. Right, so this is the 380 motor. We're just going to give it a blast on this flat tire mat and just see what it goes like. Obviously, it doesn't break any more records, does it? But it's a little bit zippier than I thought it was going to be. So we tried it on tire mat last time. Oh, I'm sorry, on dirt, so a lot of speed's lost. Right guys, this is a 540. Yeah, that's a hell of a difference. It's a lot more punchier as well than the 380, but obviously it would be. Right. Right guys, this is a technical fitted with the timings set to its lowest. It's got that awesome technical noise to it. It sounds so smooth. And it feels, I don't know if this is gonna sound stupid, but it ah, when you're driving it, it feels smooth, which is ridiculous. Difficult to say because of the difference in noise if it's way quicker than the right I kind of think it is. Right guys, this is Technigold again, this time with the timing in the middle. Let's see how she goes. It's a bit quicker. It's definitely got more kick, you can hear it on the tyres. Spinning the back wheels and sort kicking in. Pretty quick. Right. Right guys, this is it with the Technigold turned up full. Now, I've not, you're supposed to do this on a bench apparently and, and adjust the timing so you can actually hear the motor sort of peak out, so I've not done that. So I've said it's slightly, probably like half a degree to the, um, off the maximum. So I'm not 100% sure this is absolutely flat out, but we will see. Right, let's give it a go. Whoa, yeah, it's definitely more punchy. That's 
That is quick, really. I mean, if you imagine back in the day on a little two-wheel drive buggy, 7.2. Yeah, that's... Yeah. See that driving, guys? You see that? You never lose it. You can't train that skill. You're born with it. Right guys, this has got the um, Tamiya GT tuned in, which is obviously a modern motor. I believe it's a 25 turn. Um, obviously no adjustment, it's a stock motor. So let's see what this compares to, to the technical tuned uh, up to its max. Completely different sound. Uh, try to work out, it's difficult. Right, well that's really interesting. The Technigol turned full up is quicker. That's really what I wanted. That's made me very happy. And the Technigol's got a lot more punch as well. So you probably can't tell that on the video. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is okay for a modern motor. A nice cheap motor, but yeah, this is... Uh, Technigol's better. Right guys, that's a little motor comparison over. I really enjoyed that. That was, that was really good fun. And I'm so chuffed that the Technigol still outperforms a modern stock motor, because I didn't think it would. I thought, I thought the modern stuff would have the edge. So I don't I hope it kind of came across on the video, but there was quite a difference from the um, GT tuned to the Tamiya, uh, sorry, to the Technigol turned full up, um, which I say is a surprise, but that is class. So from all future videos on, I'll, I'll dyno the Technigold and that'll go into every buggy, uh, every restore and every new build we do. So um, I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching and please consider liking and subscribing for future videos.